Hey everybody, I had a few requests for on the Sprint Ray Dental Group about my filtering rig, so I did put together a video on it. Let me go ahead and roll it for you. I've been doing a lot more 3D printing at the office, and as a result, I have a lot of spent alcohol that I've used to wash my prints, and so I've let it sit out in the sun and sedimented some of it. But this one here, oh, this is really cloudy. We're going to build a gravity fed gravity filter it's kind of an old-fashioned way to do things it's kind of the an old-fashioned way to do it. we're gonna use these ceramic filter candles uh, a couple of buckets drill we're gonna go ahead and put together something here done okay now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to fit this through see if it fits tight but you know what I'd rather it be tight than loose looks like I can thread them in from this so I'll go ahead and do the other four before I do that I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab another filter candle here I'm gonna put these in first that'll help me to keep the box lined up or the two bucket and the lid lined up while I drill the second hole so I put I pushed one through already oh I actually forgot the rubber washer so I'm gonna do that again I'll put the rubber washer um, I think on the bottom here, on the bottom, and then I'm going to go ahead and push this, push this through. There we go. Sorry for the loud noise. Now I'm going to tighten it. Actually, I'm going to tighten it through the lid, like that. That way the lid is secured on there as well. There you go. Probably just enough to keep it in, and then we'll do the other one next. So I'll grab the other one here, rubber washer, push it through the holes. And you can see there, I'm going to push it through the hole. Like so, perfect half inch hole is good. Half inch spade bit was actually perfect. So, go ahead and screw that in, and then we'll go ahead and drill the other two holes next. Inch, two inches, go another two inches this way, works, and then we'll just go ahead and drill in those two holes. Go. Right, so now we can put in two more candles, two more unwrapped. These are ceramic filter candles. They're actually baked uh, and made, I think, in the UK. And then they have a, a very fine ceramic uh, with aerated texture, and so they filter particles down to 200 microns, which, you know, for purposes, you know, viruses and bacteria, some viruses and bacteria might be able to get through that, but for uh, resin particles, it's no big deal. It's a charcoal filter in here, integrated into them too, but to be honest, that probably doesn't matter for, because, I don't know you, but I don't go tasting my IPA, at least not my resin washing IPA. Oh, I forgot my rubber washer on that. So let's put that in. And tighten this thing down. I think we're done here. I've got them. That's not perfectly centered, but it'll do. We got the ceramic filter candles, candles with the uh, rubber stoppers on them. Uh, we've got the lid here. Heaven forbid it leaks. It's just going to leak into the crease and hopefully just down the hole. Um, or not, we'll see. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this right here. It's gonna go on top. Put the, so the idea here is that the dirty alcohol goes here. Only the um, only the liquid alcohol should be able to pass through. The relatively large resin particles will hopefully not. 
I'm gonna always probably just leave them to sun bake for a couple days before I pass them through here just to cure that alcohol. The goal here, I know a lot of people are using distillers or just throwing their alcohol down the sink, but I wanted to reclaim as much as possible just for environmental reasons, but also not burn any uh, electricity doing so. So uh, this allows it to just passively drain. These filters, once they get dirty, you can just take them out, scrub them and reuse them uh, again. So it's kind of a nice thing about it. We'll see how it works. And so how did it end up? Well, let's take a look at some of the pictures. The buckets are here. This is it uh, in a uh, closet out in my outside of my house. I have a little siphon pump there, which I use to help pump it out. There is a new fresh batch of a uh, alcohol I just poured in, used alcohol I poured in. It kind of looks like soupy white milk, uh, even after sit leaving it on the balcony. Uh, I think I over poured a little bit in there, but that's okay. The filter will take care of it. And this is the first filtered batch of alcohol. It is crystal clear. I mean, super impressive there. We, uh, I didn't actually decant it. What I did is I took that little siphon pump that you saw in the picture here. Well, that you would, would have seen in the picture here. Let's see. Right there, I use a little siphon pump. You can buy those on Amazon. And I uh, poured the uh, alcohol, or sucked the alcohol out of the top of the bo top of the bottom tank and into this bottle here. Uh, this is some of the sludge left after you dry the bottle. But I think overall, uh, this is a very good result. I think I will be doing more of it. If anybody wants links on where to get the stuff, I'm going to leave it in the video description on YouTube. Take care.